biggest tree in Minecraft survival? Maybe. I'm Beardo Max, and let's have a look. Let's see if this is the biggest tree in Minecraft. Big? Is it big in height, size, weight, mass? Is it just a big girthy thing? Who knows? Anyway, the tree build started off a little bit like this. Uh, just layer upon layer of straight up and down raw logs in sort of a rough circle-y shape. Um, just kept going layer upon layer. Just like this. Then, once we got to the top, um, or when I just had enough of collecting logs, I sort of built like a layer of stone, like a stone floor on the top, and then I used tree saplings and, yeah, planted them along the top, around the edges, and that helped me bulk it out with leaves without having to add leaf blocks, so to speak. It was it just made it a lot easier. Um, so yeah, here I am just starting on that, um, while also just starting on that. As you can see, the, it's just one layer thick, the tree. Uh, you can see the inside there, it's all just raw log. Oh! That's awkward. Oh! Alrighty, that happened. And then we're here. And this is the initial kind of strange finished product. I decided next was uh, time to do some decorating and uh, building some little um, pods as well as like fleshing out the inside of the tree. Um, so I built these little like concrete, you know, futuristic modern looking pods um, to use as like a workshop and a, and a bedroom. I also, at this point, had started to like flesh out the inside of the tree. Like, I didn't want the inside of the tree to look like the outside of the tree. And that's not what the inside of trees look like. So I wanted it to look more like wood rather than like a barky log. So I... Barky. Is that even a word? Um... So I stripped all the logs, stripped out logs, and made the inside look like raw timber. And now we have something that looks a bit more like this. Just having the vines hanging down makes it look a whole lot better. And I love the look of the little pot up there. This was the original floor level. Um, before I put any big doorways in to lead into it or anything like that. And... It was just basic, just a stone floor. Very simple. I had some stone stairways to traverse the different levels. Um, I think I had three levels at this point. Uh, yeah, this was just like a that first level there. It was pretty simple. It was just everything I needed to create stuff. And my son's dog. He always has a dog hanging around with him. <gasps> oh. That's kind of sad. Oh well. So this is what the inside of the tree looks like now. And oh, I like the way on the edges of the contours, the six-sided blocks really made it. So this is the tree today. And we've got a landing platform here that I've created so that people who can fly... Uh, can land straight at the top uh, without having to go up and spiral down through the leaves. Uh, and this gives you access like directly to my, or me access, directly to my bedroom there and my workshop. Uh, this, so this is my bedroom here and yes I did slay Jean and uh, yes I did mount her head above my bed. Uh, not weird at all. Um, so down here, um, you've got, well, there's a couple of different chest rooms there. We'll have a look at those soon. Um, but this is my quartz stairway all the way down, uh, to the, uh, ground floor, the villager level. 
And yeah, so this is uh, one of my big entryways on one side of the tree. I built a road um, out to the, uh, the nether portal room. Um, I, I have broken it since because um, it was interfering with a new portal that I put in somewhere else. And uh, yeah, I've created uh, all this lake here and made it look all colourful and pretty on either side of the walkway. Now it's just not bone milling all the dirt in there. It's relatively easy. And here we've got you know, the train station. So this is a train track that goes underground all the way. Um, goes about to 2,600 blocks roughly all the way um, back to the main area where we spawned. Um, and this here is the little railway I created from the train station up to the tree. All the lakes here, um, such as this fishing lake, were all created. Um, there was no lakes naturally. There was a little tiny pool of water um, over near the diamond block bell there. Um, and there was a, there's a big natural lake a little bit further over, but all these were man-made. Um, through the villager level there, here we've got uh, just uh, some sheep, different colours. And yes, those pink sheep were actually natural, naturally spawning. We found a pink sheep. I um, bred it with a white sheep and yeah, ended up with a flock of natural pink sheep. I know you can make them and there's no way to tell the difference, but... You'll have to take my word for it. Um, the blue ones weren't natural though. Uh, so this is the fishing hut. Um, I decided to make it into a mini large tree. Here kid, have a rocket. <laughs> so yeah, that's that. Um, something else I've added since, obviously you can see like the like the big roots of the tree, like that big gnarly root there going down into the lake and I've made the base a lot more spread out and a bit more, you know, sort of like buttressed roots. So it just gives it a bit more detail and makes it look a bit more realistic. I've also added on uh, some more branches. Um, the initial two were a little bit what's the word like straight um, so I've made the new ones on angles and diagonally block wise just to make them look a bit more haphazard and naturally occurring um, this straight one here I put uh, black blocks at the end of it to make it look like maybe it was struck by lightning it's actually got a campfire in there as well and when you're close enough it does puff smoke up so yeah, it looks a lot better with some extra branches. Uh, it definitely makes it look a bit more realistic. Same with the the buttress roots and stuff. It definitely seems to give it uh, a bit more character. Uh, I really like the way it looks at night. I um, did plant torches throughout the leaves. Um, so, you know, it kind of gives it a nice glow. Yeah. Alright, quick rest. Good morning, sunshine. Hello. 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 Alright. So, back to the tree tour. So, out here um, was the original village, and um, yeah, it's now empty, unfortunately. I'll just fly around here. Whoop, nearly went in the drink. Just fly around here and uh, give you a view from back here as we come in. Um, so yeah, like I said, it looks a lot better with the extra branches. Uh, it definitely adds adds to it, that's for sure. Um, 
and up here you can see on the right here when I turn around you can see um, daughter's little hut there that I built in the leaves in the canopy it's a big unit again don't know if it's the biggest but well it's a girthy beast I'll give it that um, yeah, naturally spawned beehive up on that branch. I've just left it there and the bees have a great old time flying around so high. Whoa! Smooth. Yeah, so coming through here, um, there's my workshop pod up that side there. And this is the, the village's level. Uh, there used to be three levels of villages, but I've since uh, compressed that down into just the one. Um, I did have plans on making the big open area above now um, into like a big workshop space, like different levels here and there um, with different like working stations, you know, like an enchantment area. Um, smelting area etc um, but yeah it didn't really get there so anyway this is uh, um, the second or the bottom part of my item sorter chest room um, it filters down from uh, this level here it's not huge like it doesn't have that many items but I've definitely used it a lot for a lot more of the more common items. Um, this here originally was going to try and make it like a big knot in the tree um, with a window in it. And it didn't really work out so I did change it a bit and what we've got now is the finished product. So up here is the top of the tree. Um, this we saw earlier too when I was still constructing it. And here I've built a little stairway up through the canopy of leaves to a little hut that I built for my daughter. Oh look, signs did work once upon a time in realms. Just a little walk through of her house. <laughs> this actually got struck by lightning not long ago and um, most of the top floor of it disappeared as well as half the canopy of leaves I had to fill back in and replace so yeah lightning is a thing all right back down here back at the top of the main tree trunk uh, this we actually used oh, super speed this we used as a platform to take off before we um, got our rocket supply going oh look a sign that's supposed to say Broldy's supermarket but well since signs don't work in realms at the moment uh, it doesn't yes so yes we used to use that as a takeoff point and you know, it's never been dismantled so all right and uh, here's a little bit more pointless flying since i can't do parkour i can't do pointless parkour shout out sand diction love your work bud anyway this was my um uh, little secret entrance to my bedroom um yeah initially uh, i didn't have the um, stairs and platform that you can see out the window there um so yeah all my special valuables and stuff were up in my room and you could only access it through this hidden doorway the secret doorway here was controlled by this little hidden lever um which is this one here that's uh, um here i think right there yes finally yeah anyway here is my top to bottom train line runs through the outer shell of the tree no mine carts but we'll pretend Brrr. 
And here we are at the bottom. Uh, so this is the villages area. Through here, um, we've got my mine shaft. And all the way down here. Righty oh. Alright, so this is the mining level that I mined at. Um, we've got a water lift um, for all the items. So if we throw them into this chest here, right, this will take the items all the way up to the top of the tree. Where they'll enter into the hopper system that's below my workshop. Oh. come out here we can actually see them shooting up through the water column here how very cool is that love it um, if we race up here we'll be able to see them hopefully still coming out into the tough chest uh, where is it there it is let's have a look there they are All right, I'd like to thank everybody for watching and I hope you enjoyed seeing my giant tree. Is it the biggest in Minecraft survival? Well, I'll leave that up to you to decide. Let me know in the comments what you think. And if you haven't yet, hit the subscribe button. It's much appreciated and I will catch you all in the next one. Bye.